Well, I think over the last few weeks, we've all been thinking a bit more closely about how we transport ourselves around the place. So today I'm going to be trying out low carbon bird watching. I just thought I'd run you through some of the equipment. Well, I've come up the glen here because uh, normally this is quite a good spot for seeing things like cuckoo, maybe some upland waders on these fields, uh, raven, there's sometimes peregrine and hen harrier, but uh, it's so windy today. I don't know if you can hear me uh, with this wind. The rain's starting to come down the glen now too, so I'm just going to knock it on the head and uh, go somewhere else. That was a bit wet, wetter than I thought it was going to be. What I love about bike birding is just the fact that you're outside all the time so you can hear things as you move from one point to another. Nice view of a black cap. You won't have seen that unfortunately. And now it's beautiful sunshine. Oh. Well, this is usually a good spot for things like grey wagtail and dipper. There is a uh, grey wagtail up there along with pied wagtail and lots of chaffinches and other birds uh, in and around the water, which is quite interesting today, but I haven't picked up a dipper. <laughs>
there's an Osprey right there. That was really good fun, enjoyed that. It's getting a bit rushed towards the end, I only had a couple of hours. I'd have liked to spend a bit more time sea watching and maybe down at Loch Fleet. But decent range of species seen today, nothing to write home about. The scope worked well, nice and light, although 90% of the birds were uh, through the binoculars, I'd say. So binoculars are a must, scope's optional. Yeah.